Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 19th Node.js tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can set up some basic routing. Okay then Doug, so we have here a server set up and then when we make a request to this server we're writing our headers on the response object and then we're ending the response by sending a string feed me for uh, popcorn and you can see the content type is just going to be text plain. So let me go ahead and run this in Node by saying Node app and then navigate to this in a browser. So if I click enter right now, then we're going to get that string feed me popcorn. Okay. And it doesn't matter what URL I put up here. I could say forward slash API and I'm still going to get that. I could say forward slash home. I'm still going to get that forward slash contact. I'm still going to get that no matter what I put in here. What request I make, I'm getting the same data fed back to me. Now, in a real world application, we're going to want to distinguish between the different URLs and send them data depending on what they're requesting. So, for example, if they say forward slash home, we want to send them the index page or the home page. If they say forward slash contact, we want to send them a contact page. And if we say forward slash API, we want to send them some data, maybe. Okay. So how do we do this? We need to set up some kind of routing system in Node.js. So if you notice here, whenever we make a request to this server, we're logging this to the console and we're accessing a property on the request object called URL. And that's logging to the console each time. So we're listening to what the user is typing into the address bar and we can log that to the console so we know what they're requesting. Therefore, we can use this to check what they've requested and then send them data depending on that request. So let's do that. Let's get rid of this for now, this response, and let's do a simple if statement to check what they're requesting and then send them something dependent on that request. So I'll say if the request.url is triple equals, that's always a good habit to get into using that. If that's equal to forward slash home or if request.url is triple equal to just forward slash. So whether they visit just forward slash like localhost 3000 forward slash or forward slash home, then we want to send them this index.html file. So let's do that. We can now write our headers. So I'll say response object dot write head. Oops, write head. And then the status is going to be 200. And then the content type is going to be text forward slash HTML. So we're sending them a HTML page. Now we need to create a read stream to go ahead and read this file first of all. So I'll say fs dot create read stream. And then the file we want to read is in the current directory. So I'll say der name and then concatenate that with forward slash index dot HTML. So that's going to go out and grab this one right here, it's going to read that in a stream. And then all we need to do is pipe that to the response stream or the response object. And that's going to send it to us. So now if I save this, I'm going to cancel out of here by saying control C and then run it again, node app. And if I go into the browser now, and if I go to forward slash home, then I should get this home page. It's going out and grabbing this index file. And if I say forward slash like that, then I still get this. But if I say forward slash anything else now, um, anything, then this is just going to keep on kind of timing out and looking for it. So it can't find anything else yet. So let's cross this, stop the process, come in here and press control C and let's add some more routes. So if it's one of these, then it will return this thing right here. Now we can say else if so if it's something else, and we'll check in here what it is, and if it's triple equal to, say, forward slash contact, then we're going to send back a contact page. So let's copy this dude right here and paste it in. And we want this to be contact.html. So I'll save that. And then we also need to create a contact.html file right here. So let's go ahead and do that new file, contact dot html and then what I'm going to do is just paste this bad boy into here 
and let's change it a little bit. So, um, contact us, and then I'll say contact the coolest cats on the web right here. Okay, so now we have a contact.html page as well. So if we run this now and go forward slash contact, then hopefully we're going to get this page instead. So let's save it and find out. We'll say node app and then go to our browser. And this time we'll say forward slash contact. And now we get the contact page. Cool. And home still works. Home page. Okay, so now we're starting to set up routes for different things over here. So what if we want to send back some JSON instead, like some kind of API endpoint? Well, we can do that as well. So we'll say else if, and we'll check the URL property on the request object. And we'll say if this is triple equal to forward slash API forward slash ninjas. Okay, then I want to send back some data. This is like an API endpoint that, for example, JavaScript in the browser might request. So, if it's this, then let's create an object first of all. Let's say var ninjas. I'm going to set this equal to an array of objects. And in each object, I give a name. The first one is just going to be Ryu. And then the second property is going to be H. And I'll set that to 29 for him. We'll create another object. Name is going to be Ayoshi. And the age is going to be 32. Okay, so we've got our data. And in a real world application, you're probably gonna get this from a database rather than just define it here, probably. And we're gonna cover databases, uh, databases later on. We're gonna take a look at MongoDB, but for now this will do. So we're gonna send this data as JSON to the browser, to the client. So what I'm gonna do is say response.writehead, first of all, and it's gonna be status 200 again. And the content type this time is gonna be JSON, sorry, application forward slash JSON. Okay, so now let's send that to the browser. So we'll say response.end. And remember, we have to serialize this. We have to turn it into a string because .end expects either a buffer or a string. So we'll say json.stringify. And that's going to turn it into a JSON string and pass in the ninjas array in. Okay, cool. So now if we save this, and I'm gonna cancel out of this, run it again, node app. Then if we go to the browser and press API ninjas, then we're gonna get that JSON data back. Cool, so we've set up now a few routes, but still, if we go to something that isn't set up here, for example, uh, just forward slash ninjas, then we're still not going to get anything back. And ideally what we want to do is send some kind of 404 page to say, look, we've not found the uh, resource that you're requesting. So let's do that. We'll do a catch all at the bottom and it's not going to be an else if, it's just going to be an else. So if they've typed something in that doesn't match any of these things here, then we'll send the 404 page. So let's copy this and paste it down here. And this time the status is going to be 404. We've not found it, right? And we can still send something if we want. We can send a 404 page, 404.html. So let's create that quickly. Right click, new file, 404.html. And then again, let's copy this bad boy and paste it in here. And we'll say 404, oops. And let's blame it on the user. You've done something wrong. All right, so let's save that. And one more time, let's cancel by pressing Control C and running it through Node again, Node app. And now let's navigate to something that's not here, forward slash ninjas. And we're gonna get 404, oops, you've done something wrong. So now that's like a catch all if none of our routes match when the user requests something. So there we go guys, that's how we create routes. And you might think this is a little bit cumbersome, especially if you've got a big website with many, many different pages. 
but fortunately we can't use uh, a package called Express, which we are going to take a look at later, which is going to make routing and doing other stuff with Node.js so much easier. And I'm going to take a look at that later. But for now, this is how we set up some basic routes in Node.js. Any questions, leave those down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.